This is way, way harder than I expected. Congratulations for making it to this school. I'm your first year sub homeroom teacher, Yusmaya Yamada. and help each other, making the next three years enjoyable. Uh, now, moving on to self-introductions, um, let's go by numerical order on the class phone. Okay. Is that how you act towards your childhood friend you haven't seen for six years? Maybe she hates me. Hello, Jika Orimura. I, I care. I do apologize for being so loud just then, but we started out with the A's and now we've gotten all the way up to the O's. So would you introduce yourself now, pretty please? Uh, you really don't need to be so apologetic. Uh, Ichika Morimura, nice to meet you all. <laughs> Oh no, if I don't see something else, they're gonna think I'm really depressing. Welcome my class for me. What is Chifuyu doing here anyway? My real older sister who only comes home once or twice a month and no one has any idea what she does for a living? All right, class. I'm your homeroom teacher, Miss Chifuyu Orimura. It's my job to train you well enough to stand on your feet in one year. Jobs come to this school every year. Do they put all the loonies in my class on purpose? Lady Chifuyu, scold us more! Cast us out! Train us so we don't misbehave! My big sister is my old room teacher. So, have the instructions regarding addressing your instructor not taken yet? Uh, well, Chifuyu, I was just... That's Miss Orimura, right? Yes, Miss Orimura. What? You mean Orimura is Lady Chifuyu's younger brother? I wonder, does that have anything to do with the fact that he's the only male in the world who can control my ass? That's enough! Huh? Your syllabus for the next six months begins with memorizing all data concerning the IS. After that, practical training, where you'll have two weeks to master the basic maneuvers. So, have you got that? Even if you don't, say yes ma'am! Yes yeah, ma'am! Yeah. Uh... My sister, Chifuyo Orimura, was in the first generation of IS pilots who represented Japan. Then, out of the blue, she retired and just disappeared. And now she's become a teacher? I feel so stupid for ever worrying about her. Now, as I'm sure all of you are already aware, IS actually stands for Infinite Stratus. It's a multi-form suit originally developed in Japan. When it was first conceived 10 years ago, it was originally designed to be used in outer space. However, those plans are currently on hold. Due to the Alaska Treaty, the IS is also prohibited from being used by the military. Therefore, it's used solely for competitions and sporting events. And our IS Academy is the only educational institution in the world established with the objective of training IS pilots. Students from all around the world come to this school where young people from a multitude of countries get to live, work, and study side by side every day as they hone and perfect their piloting skills. So starting today, let's all study hard over the next three years! Yes, ma'am! She didn't mention that only females can operate in IS. Except for one male in the whole world who's able to do it. That's me. And I have no idea why. Talk 
for a minute. <laughs> so, what's up? Um... Well, it's been six years now. So is there something you wanted to say? last year. Way to go! What? How did you find out about that? What do you mean? It was in the newspaper. And why were you looking at that newspaper? Actually... You know, it's been ages. But even after six years, I recognized you right away, Hokey. You still have the same hairstyle. Uh, yeah, you don't forget a single thing, do you? How can I forget about you? You're my childhood friend. Things are like 
this is the first day I'm worried about the future. Well, this must be it. Typical 
the boy. Actually, I was wondering if that's all you three are eating for breakfast. It doesn't seem like enough. Uh, well, sure. We're, you know, um... Yeah, I think we'll be okay, thanks. Because we eat a lot of snacks. Uh, I think I'll excuse myself now. Okay, then. I'll see you later. So you and Shinonono must be really close friends. I heard that you two are even sharing the same room. Well, we are childhood friends. Huh? Your childhood friends? Yeah. We started going to the same kendo dojo back when we were in the first grade. We were in class together till fourth grade. But I don't remember much about it anymore. About the past. Less talking and more chewing! Pilots have to eat quickly and efficiently! I'm the freshman dorm supervisor. Anyone late to class will do ten laps around the school. Oh, now I get it. No wonder she hardly ever came home. Two weeks from today, you'll be asked to choose your representative for the class tournament. A class representative not only competes in the tournament, but also attends student council meetings and committee meetings. Essentially, it's your class leader, okay? I will now take nominations. Any suggestions? I'd like to nominate Orimura. Huh? Dude, I think that's a good idea, too. Huh? You do? So, is there anyone else? If not, he'll be elected without a vote. <laughs> well, hang on a minute. What if I don't want to do it? I do not approve huh? of this. This type of selection is utterly unacceptable. It would be shameful to have a boy as our class representative. You can't possibly expect that I, Cecilia Alcott, should have to deal with that sort of humiliation for an entire year. In the first place, simply living in a country with such an underdeveloped level of culture is unbearably painful to someone like myself. How the agony! Well, your country doesn't have that many things to brag about either. How often has England won the world's worst cuisine award? <gasps> We English have many delicious dishes. I can't believe you would have the audacity to insult my country. <sighs> this calls for a duel. Fine by me. It'll be easier than debating. And if you should ever lose to me on purpose, I promise to make you my servant. No, I shall make you my slave. How much handicap will there be? Uh, are you asking me for a favor already? No, I was wondering how much of a handicap I should give you. <laughs> should be wondering about giving you a handicap. <laughs> Japanese boys are so humorous, aren't they? Hey, if you're nice, a real lady might still give you that handicap, you know. And a real oh. man never goes back on his word. I'll pass. Um, you're underestimating her. It looks like that's settled then. The competition will be staged in Arena 3, which I believe is available Monday. Orimura and Alcott, I expect you to come fully prepared for combat. At last, Infinite Stratus has finally begun! And now there's a duel with the British girl in our personal IS. Do you think Orimura will be all right? If he loses, I think the entire class should cheer him up together. Wait, it looks like Orimura has some secret strategies, too. I heard that Lady Chibuyu has something awesome for him. All right! I'm so Looking forward to it! Next episode, class rep selection match! Hooray! Hooray! Orimura! But even after six years, I recognized you right away, Hokey. before your IS is ready for you. What? On the plus side, due to certain issues, the school will provide you with a personal IS. What? A personal IS when he's only a freshman? In other words, that means the government is supporting this? That's so awesome! I want to get my own IS, too! Is having your own IS really that major of a deal? <laughs> I'm actually rather relieved to hear that. After all, in a class rep 
representative selection match between you and I, the outcome is already obvious. But it's simply not fair for you to use a training model whilst I pilot my own personal unit. Hold on. You have your own IS as well? Oh, don't you know? Very well, then. As you are a commoner, I shall have to explain. I, Cecilia Alcott, am the glorious representative contender for Great Britain. In other words, I currently own my own personal IS. There are only 467 IS units worldwide. So obviously, those who have their own personal units are the elites of the elite amongst the planet's population of 7 billion. Only 467? That's all? <laughs> That's because the central component of all IS technology, the core, has never been released. As a result, there are only 467 machines in the entire world. And Dr. Tabane Shinonono has personally produced every one of those cores. Wait, isn't that Hoagie's sister? Supposedly, the IS core is like a self-contained black box. This is because no one other than Dr. Shinonono can create one. But the thing is, so far she's refused to manufacture more than a certain number of cores. Therefore, countries, corporations, and organizations are forced to conduct their research, development, and training using the limited number of IS units. To complete our little history lesson, personal IS units were originally only intended for those sponsored by governments or corporations. However, your case is exceptional. Therefore, they will provide you with a personal IS for data collection purposes. Is that all clear? Uh, I guess so. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Do you know if the Miss Shinonono in our class is related to Dr. Shinonono by any chance? Actually, your classmate is her younger sister. Seriously? Oh, oh, she's her sister. I heard that Dr. Shinonono is more research than every country and corporation has been desperately trying to find her. Yeah, don't you know where she is? She has nothing to do with me. I am not my sister. And there is nothing I can tell you about her. Wow. All right, Miss Yamada. Shall we start? Uh, all right. Now then, I don't let's remember begin the there class. being any bad Everyone blood between Hoki and Tabane. We'll continue from where we left off yesterday. The IS, or Infinite Stratus, deploys a special energy barrier that operates as protection for its pilot. The unit system has something similar to a consciousness. So through shared dialogue and time spent together, the two of you will actually get to know each other. Depending on how much time a pilot spends controlling an IS, it begins to understand the user's characteristics. I just don't understand this. So, your IS isn't just a tool. Instead, think of it as your big mechanical partner. Are there any questions so far? Yes, ma'am! So, did you mean partner as in boyfriend or girlfriend? Oh, I'm not sure. That is, I'm not experienced that way, so I don't know. No, but I wonder. Oh. <laughs> You're so cute. Is this really a typical local school wow. atmosphere? <laughs> No, no, no. Let's go eat lunch. Would anyone like to join us? Yes, me, me. Oh, me too. I made my lunch, but I'm coming too. Sure, we should all try to get along with our fellow classmates, okay? You agree with me, right? I think I'll pass. Oh, don't be such a grumpy face. Come on. I already said I'm not going. Oh, you don't feel like walking, eh? I'll carry you piggyback. Let go! Hey! gotten weak. <laughs> that was a little trick from my kendo training. Oh, we think that maybe we should pass this time. <sighs> yeah, what? You have something else stupid to say to me? Okay. I told you not to call me that. Come on, let's go eat. Oh, hey, give it a rest. Shut up and let's go. I was just trying to look after you, you know. Yeah. 
Who asked you to do that anyway? Even if someone asked me, I wouldn't normally do that. I did it because it's you, Hokey. What? What's that mean? <sighs> Look, I owe a lot to your aunt, too. Besides, we're childhood friends and roommates, so at least let me meddle in your life a little. Well, I guess. Thank you. Here you go. Two daily specials. Thank you. Hey, Hokey, did you see any empty tables on the way in? <sighs> There's one right over there. Great. What I do now? <sighs> hey, Hokey. Yeah, what now? Would you be willing to teach me more about the IS? Because I think I'm going to lose to Cecilia the way things are going. Yeah, because you let her provoke you. I know that, but please help me. Hey, aren't you the one everyone's talking about? You're going to be competing against a representative contender. But you've never flown for real, have you? If you want, I can teach you lots of things about the IS. No, thanks. Actually, I'm the one who's going to be teaching him. <laughs> but you're a freshman too, right? I'm a senior, after all. I think I'd do a much better job teaching him the ropes. But I am Tabani Shinonano's sister. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. Fine. I guess some things can't be helped. So then, you will teach me?
first time I touched an IS, there's something different. Orimura, are you alright? Uh-huh. I'm just fine. There's something familiar about it. I understand it. I can understand what it is, and its purpose. Show you entrust your life to it. Let it take control. The system will optimize the rest. Access. Pyakushki. This is Pyakushki. Superior Alcott's machine is called Blue Tears. It's a long-range model IS. Blue Tears, got it. In every IS unit, there's a feature referred to as Absolute Defense. Its primary function is always to protect the pilot's life during any attack. However, that deployment would cause your shield energy to be badly depleted. Do you understand that? So, Orimura, are you feeling up to this? Yeah, piece of cake. We'll see. Hey, Hoki. Uh huh. Here we go. Oh, okay. Win this. Drive off! Just so you know, this is your last chance. To do what? It's obvious to everyone that I'm going to defeat you overwhelmingly. So why not simply apologize to me right now when I just might be able to forgive you? <laughs> you can't really call that a chance. Oh, I can't? Well, too bad for you. Now then. <laughs> Time to say goodbye! Ichika. 
thing. The shape of Orimura's personal IS has changed. Format setting complete. Huh? What's this? That can't be. That's your first shift? How could anyone have fought an entire battle like this with their IS in a default setting? I'm not sure what the heck I've been doing, but it looks like this IS has finally become my own. The Yukihira Nagata? Is it the Yukihira? The same weapon Jifuyu used? Man, I really do have the best big sister in the entire world. But I think it's about time to change the relationship from where I'm the one who always has to be protected. From now on, I'm going to be protecting as well. Huh? Just what are you talking about? I'm saying I will defend my sister's name. It'll make her look lame if her brother's a candy-ass weakling. Honestly, you're such a pain! Too late! I've seen them now! Yes! I can do this! The match is concluded. Winner, Cecilia Alcott. What? What? Again? You lost because you used the barrier disabling attack. Without taking into account how using it would affect everything else. The barrier disabling attack? Which punctures the opponent's barrier and passes the impact directly to its body. That's something only Yukihira can do. However, that ability has to cannibalize your own shield energy in order to function. Actually, I have to admit that when I won the first Mondo Grosso, it was mostly as a result of that one ability. I see. So that's why Byakushki's remaining shield energy suddenly dropped to zero. When a competitor's shield energy becomes zero, that player loses the IS battle. The barrier disabling attack does damage your opponent, but in exchange it will cost you your shield. It's really a classic double-edged sword. Right. And it means your IS is defective. Defective how? Okay, maybe that was a bad way to phrase it. An IS isn't complete to begin with, so it can't be defective, per se. But since yours is so much more offense-oriented than others, it can't be handled the same way. At the moment, your IS is in standby mode. But all you have to do is call it, and it'll deploy right away. However, there are a lot of regulations, so read this thoroughly. She'll be the class representative, huh? And what does that look mean? Well, are you... upset that you lost? Well, yeah, sure. Uh, so, I guess starting tomorrow, maybe we ought to start some intensive IS training? I guess. Um, you still... You do want me to continue teaching you, right? Of course I do! I'd rather ask you than any other girl. I mean, you're Tabane's sister, so who else would know as much? <sighs> okay. All right. I understand. <laughs> I have to, then. Uh -huh. Right. I hereby agree to teach you about the IS. Starting tomorrow, I want you to be waiting for me every day after school, okay? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> hey, wait!
today's lesson, we're going to practice operating the basic controls of the IS. Orimura, Alcott, you're up first. Not a problem. Okay. What's the matter with this darn thing? Move it, Orimura. Any experienced IS pilot should take less than a second to deploy. Just focus. Engage! The Akushki! Hey, it worked! Good. Now fly! Right! Right! The bomb and the Imagination on deploying the pyramid part forward, okay? Oh man, I'm just not getting this at all. An image is nothing more than an image, but it'll be far more productive if you can figure out the method that works easiest for you. Yeah, well, in the first place, I still haven't gotten used to flying the IS around just yet. <laughs> I'm not even sure what makes it fly. Well, uh, if you're interested, I'd be happy to give you lessons every day after school. Huh? And when I do, it'll be just the two of us. Orimura, Alcott. Execute a power dive and then come to a complete stop. Right. Roger that. Well, ladies first. Wow, she totally nailed it. Now let's see how I do. I guess that 
you had a lot of fun today. It just made me feel exhausted. Do you honestly think you would enjoy it if you were in my shoes? Well, if I had to hazard a guess, I think I actually would enjoy it. What was that for? I'm going to change into my pajamas now, so I need you to look away. <sighs> I don't understand why you didn't just change earlier when I was brushing my teeth. <laughs> Tonight? Uh, actually, yes. I can't believe you noticed. Well, yeah, of course I noticed. I mean, I'd look at you all the time, you know. Oh, yeah, of course you do. I mean, I'm right here and you're there. Well, that's perfectly normal. All right, it's time to go to sleep. It 
just move. Hey there, you're not allowed in here. Look, I think that IS is responding to him. That's impossible. There's no way a boy can control an IS. Well, a whole lot of crap happened after that. Next thing I knew, I was enrolled in this school. Huh. That is weird. <laughs> Ichika, I think it's about time that you gave me an explanation. That's right, you had better explain this. Don't tell me you're actually dating this transfer student now. No, it's not like that at all, I swear. It's true. Huh? We're just childhood friends. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong, I'm fine. Childhood friends? Oh, that's right. I forgot Reem transferred to our school right after you moved away. That's Hoki Shinonono. No. I told you about her. Hoki was my very first childhood friend. Then later, you became my second childhood friend. I'm first? Uh-huh. Now I see. It's nice to meet one of Ichika's old friends. Yes. Nice to meet you. Ahem. Since you seem to have forgotten about me, allow me to introduce myself. I am Cecilia Alcott, the United Kingdom's representative contender. As a matter of fact, Ichika and I had a fierce battle so over the So I heard that you were recently chosen to be class one's representative. Ago. I heard yeah, that you've now become class one's You know, if you want, I can help you However, with your IS you should practice not underestimate skills. Ichika, Wouldn't because that be I am one who's Oh, yeah, that would help. Like sure. Uh, look here. Are you listening to me? Sorry. I'm just not interested. I can't believe you said that. And in any case, it's my job to teach Ichika. You're from class two, aren't you? I'm not looking for any assistance from the enemy. Look, I'm having a nice chat with Ichika right now. We weren't talking to you, so you need to back off. <sighs> well, you certainly have a lot of nerve. You're the one who entered the picture after we did. Actually, it wasn't after you. I mean, I've known him longer than you have. Don't go there, because I've known him longer than you have. In fact, we're so close, each has eaten at my house several times. Oh, mine too. What a coincidence. <gasps> Ichika used to come to my house and eat with us all the time, ever since he was in elementary school. Ichika, just what is she talking about, and how come you've never mentioned any of this to me? You never mentioned it to me, either. I used to go eat at the Chinese restaurant her family owned, that's all. Oh, a restaurant. At least that makes sense. Well, if a family owned a restaurant, I suppose it's only natural that you would have eaten there. So, Reen, how is your dad doing? Huh? Um, I think he's okay. Huh? All right, I'll see you after school. I'll come by around the time you're finished practicing with them. So make sure you're available, okay? What in the devil's going on around here, Miss Shinodino? And how did you... I've been given clearance to utilize the training IS, and I'll be using it for Ichika's intensive training. Now, hold on. That's the Japanese production IS. How on earth could she have possibly obtained clearance to use the Uchigane? All right, Ichika. Let's begin. Oh, yeah, right. You wait just one minute! I'm the one who's supposed to be conducting Ichika's training! Do you hear me? Concentrate, Ichika! We'll start your lesson now! No, let me start your lesson, Ichika! <laughs> Training. Oh, come on, that was two against one out there. Well then, Ichika, I'll see you later then. What are you still doing down there? We should head back to our room now. Yeah, you go on ahead. I can't move my legs. What am I gonna do about you? All right, I'll go ahead and use the shower first. Yeah, fine. I wonder if it's going to be as bad as this all the way up to the class league match. Hey, good work out there, Ichika. You're okay with a sports drink, aren't you? Here. Oh, thanks, Reed. Have you really been waiting for me all this time? <laughs> you can say that. Um. So, we're finally alone together. Huh? Yeah, I guess so. Ichika. I was wondering if you missed me after I moved. Well, I suppose having one less friend to hang out with did make me feel a little bit lonelier. That's not what I meant. I'm a childhood friend you haven't seen for a long time, and I know you've got something to say to me. Oh, yeah. 
I forgot something very important. <gasps> Have you contacted any other friends from school yet? I mean, to tell them you were back in Japan. I bet they'd be thrilled. <sighs> That's not it. I was talking about... Hey, look, I need to get back to my room, okay? I'm freezing, and hopefully Hokey's done with our shower by now. Shower? And Hokey's that girl I met earlier? What kind of relationship do you two have? Well, we're just childhood friends. She was my first, and of course you were my second. But what does being childhood friends have to do with taking a shower? Oh, that. That's because Hokey and I are sharing a room right now. What? Well, yeah, they couldn't give me my own room, so we're, you know... So what you're telling me is that you and this Hokey person are living together? Yeah, kind of, but thank goodness it's with Hokey. If it were with someone I didn't know, I'd be nervous and then I'd never be able to get any sleep. Uh, huh? Hey, what's wrong? It's okay because she's your childhood friend. Huh? What I said was <laughs> you don't mind because she's your childhood friend! And that is why we need to switch rooms. Is your brain not functioning? Why switch with me? Well, I figured it must be horrible for you having to share a room with a guy. But I never said that sharing with him was horrible. Besides, this issue is between me and Ichika, got it? Oh, don't worry. After all, I'm his childhood friend too, right? I don't know why you're looking at me. In any case, I will not switch rooms with you. Now go back to your own room. <sighs> oh, by the way, Ichika, do you still remember our promise? Promise? Mm-hmm, from school. Stop ignoring me, you trollop! Okay, it's come to this. Get in the house! A full partial deployment, and fast. You know, a normal person would have been seriously injured by that. Well, never mind. Hey, I almost forgot. You were just talking about some kind of promise. What was it about? Oh, right! Well, you know, it was just... You do remember it, right? Let's see... Oh, was it that I'd eat your sweet and sour pork every day if you became a better cook? Yeah, yeah, that's it! And it'd be your treat, right? What? That's right! You promised that you would treat me to a meal every day, wasn't that it? That would be awesome since I'm still single and... <laughs> Huh? What a jerk! Uh, just hold on there, Rain. How can you not remember a sacred promise you made to a girl? You're the most despicable guy ever! I hope a dog bites you to death! I don't understand why you're so mad! I did remember the promise! But you didn't get the meaning of it! You didn't get the meaning! Well, then maybe you need to explain it to me! What the hell's the meaning? You want me to explain it? How could I do that with someone who's so dense? <laughs> Class 
And remember, being hot is a very important quality for girls. But please keep in mind that hot also refers to fire and burning! Reed. Yeah, what is it? 
Look, I'm warning you. I'm not gonna hold back. What's that mean? That's what you're supposed to do. Besides, I'll show you that we are not in the same room. Yeah. It looks like Roy Moore is thinking about trying something. My guess is that he's using the ignition boost, exactly like I taught him. Hold on, what is this ignition boost? It's a form of surprise attack in which you close in on your opponent at a maximum rate of speed. As long as he can ignite at just the right moment, he can even go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a representative contender. Unfortunately, this is his only chance because it just works once. <laughs> Can't you see that all I want is for you to let me go? 
Just chill and have a cup of coffee or something. You're only stressing because your body's running low on sugar. Um, before you drink that, what you actually just added was the salt. Uh... Look, 
I don't know anything about your Ray Raku thing or whatever, but you can't seem to hit a darn thing right now. Oh, I'll hit it. <sighs> well, you sound pretty determined. So even though I don't think it's a possibility, let's just say it's unmanned and attack the thing anyway. All right. So the plan is that you shoot it with the cannon at full blast, but only when I give the signal. Are we both agreed on that? Sure, but it'll miss it. It'll be fine, even if it does miss. All right, let's do this! If you're a man! If you're a man, you'd better defeat the enemy completely! Oh, crap! Pokey, run! Breathe! Do it now! You got it! something else, Reen? Because I seriously thought you meant you were going to treat me to free meals every day. No, it's not about something else. It's really not. It's just that when you cook for someone else, your cooking improves. <laughs> you know, I'd love to try your sweet and sour pork, but to be honest, it'll be hard to top your father's cooking. Man, I'd love to have that again. Well, yeah. Doesn't work there anymore. What? Why did he stop? The thing is, my parents, they got a divorce. That's one of the reasons why I decided to move back to China. Mm. 
Hey, uh, Marine. Hmm? Would you want to go hang out sometime? <laughs> you mean like a date? <laughs> Surprise, Ichika dear. I hope you're feeling much better now, but I've come to look after you. Uh, what is this? Just what are you doing here? Well, remember, we decided no one can make a move on Ichika till he wakes up. And what about you then? Because from my view of your fat ass, it sure looks like you were trying to get ahead of me. Uh, well, the thing is, uh... Don't you understand that Ichika's my childhood friend? Well, he's mine, too. You're from class, too, Miss Takeaway. Hey. Uh -huh. Where's Shifuyu? Now that you ask, yeah, where do you think she went? She was right there with us until just a few minutes ago. So it really was unmanned. And it seems the court was unregistered. I see. There are only 467 known IS cores in the world. And yet somehow, this IS was equipped with a core we know nothing about. How can that be? Exactly like that at school, too, right? Huh? What are you talking about? Just forget about it. I feel sorry for Reen. Surprise! It's moving day! What? We've made new arrangements for you. Mission no, 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 you'll be moving to a different room. But now, wait just a darn minute! Are you saying that I have to pack and move out right away? Huh? Oh, yes, I think that would be for the best. After all, I'm sure the situation where a young man and a young woman have to share the same room isn't really comfortable for either of you. Well, to be honest... Eh, you don't have to worry about me. I'm sure I can get up on time and brush my teeth, even without your help. Oh, Miss Yamada, I want to change rooms right now! Oh, okay. <sighs> what was she so upset about now? Well... I guess I'll go to bed. No point thinking about it. Yeah? Huh? Oh, did 
Do you forget something? I... I came to broker terms. Why are you being so formal? In regards to the individual tournament next month... If I win the tournament... If I do... You have to date me! What? Did you hear that? We did. I miss news is really big! Hey, have you all heard the latest rumor? What, you mean about the IS from the other day? Supposedly a machine that was going testing went on a rampage. No, that's not it. Whoever wins the tournament this month gets to go on a date with Orimura. So, do you know what it is that all these girls How are so I excited can't believe about? It. I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. The story's distorted and spreading like crazy. You must have said something to someone. That has to be it. Oh, no way. I don't really think that could have been what happened at all. Good morning. Huh? What's with all the excitement? Oh, no, no reason. reason. Huh? Get in your seat now. <laughs> Homeroom is starting immediately. Guess what, class? We're about to meet yet another new transfer student. And I have come from France. It is nice to meet you. Dude, you're a boy. Wait, I heard about a male student who was in the same situation as I am, so I transferred here. There's a second male student? And he's in our class? He's cute and he's the type girls want to protect. Silence, damn it. That's quite enough. Today we're conducting joint practical training with class two. I want everyone changed and assembled on the second ground ASAP. And Ori Mora? Yes? Since you're both males, I want you to keep an eye on Dunois. Let's get moving, girls! So you're Ori Mora. Nice to meet you. I am... Oh, uh, no time for that. Getting there is our top priority. The girls will start changing soon, <gasps> so uh, let's get our motor on. We're going to be changing in the locker room at the arena. We have to change there every time we have practical training, so you'd better get used to beating the girls. Oh, all right. Hey, why do you look so anxious? Do you need to use the restroom? No, that's not it. Uh... Hey! I see the new transfer student! And he's standing with Ori Mora! Oh, you... There he is! Move, move it! it! Move it! Out of my way! Oh, no. No. Oh. I do like Ori Mora's dark hair, but I like the blonde, too. Run for it. They're leaving! Hey, wait! Hey, let's follow them! Hey, wait! At least let me take a picture for the paper! Oh, wow. Oh. What are they making such a racket for? Well, I'm pretty sure that it has something to do with the fact that you and I are the only males who have been able to operate an IS so far. Oh, yes! That's right, we are! Let's just keep running, okay? <sighs> I think we managed to lose them somehow. I'm sorry. I've already gotten you into trouble. No problem. I mean, you're my savior. It's tough to be the only guy in the entire school. No, really? <laughs> yeah, so I owe you one. My name's Ichika Orimura, but just call me Ichika. Mm. It's nice to meet you, Ichika. You may call me Charles, if you like. Oh, man! Look at the time! We've got a long run, so hurry up and get changed. Ah! Ah. Oh, come on. You'll be late if you don't get changed fast. And our teacher happens to be very insistent on punctuality. Mm, I'm going to change now, but would you mind looking the other way, s'il vous plaît? I wasn't going to stare at you while you were changing, but whatever. Just hurry it up, okay? Uh, is something wrong? It's just that you changed incredibly fast. Do you have some secret trick to that or something? Oh, not really. I don't. Well, that's a shame, because these things are a pain to put on. Since you can't wear any underwear beneath them, my things are always getting caught. Your things get caught? And how? Uh... uh your suit looks really easy to put on. Mm-hmm. It's an original made by Dunois. Dunois? Your last name is Dunois, too, right? My papa is the company's CEO. As you know, Dunois is the largest IS-related corporation in all of France. Ah, so you're the CEO's son. Now it makes sense. Hmm? 
Just what does that mean? Well, I don't know what it is, but you've got class. You look like you've come from a prestigious family. So now I get it. Your practical training begins now. Right! First, we'll need to demonstrate a real battle. Fun! Alcott! Ma'am! Ma'am! Since you have your own machines, I'm sure you'll gladly volunteer. Step forward, girls. What a nuisance. Why is it always me? <sighs> oh my, such a vulgar spectacle. Do I really have to do this? Show a little more enthusiasm. This is the perfect chance to show off for the boys. <gasps> It looks like it's time for Cecilia Alcott, England's representative contender, to step up and take charge. Yeah, and I can show the difference between those who have personal machines and those who don't. What did the teacher just say to those girls? How on earth would I know that? So who's my rival? I wouldn't mind tossing you away, restaurant girl. <laughs> That's my line. You're dead meat. Oh, don't get ahead of yourselves. You haven't met your opponent. Okay, and 
In order of your attendance number, I want you to put on the IS, activate it, and walk. Uh, the first one up is... Me! My attendance number is one. I'm Kyoka Akawa. I'm in the handball club, and my hobbies include watching sports and jogging. Nice to meet you. Uh -huh. Hey, no fair! Yeah, me too! Please, please. I, I knew, knew it was, was you, you at first sight! Oh, pick me! Pick me! Pick me! That's it, Aikawa. Just like that. Very good. Okay, can you stop now? Uh, uh, okay, now switch to the next person. Uh, I was so nervous. Uh, oh, uh. So, who's next? It's me. However, there's no way I can reach the cockpit with it left like that. Uh... Actually, that's a common mistake a lot of writers make in the beginning. Oimura, can you make sure she's properly mounted? What? Excuse me? Oimura, take Byakushiki out now. Right. Uh, and just what is he supposed to be doing with that? He's gonna pick you up in his arms, of course, and they shove you on that big thing. <laughs> Going to pick me up and shove me on it? I guess I have no choice, huh? Try not to fall, okay? <laughs> so this must be what it's like to be carried like a princess. <sighs> you know how to operate it, right? Just activate it and walk, then switch with the next person. Uh, Ichika! Mm -hmm. Yes, Soki? I was just wondering whether you had made any plans yet for lunch today. No, not really. Why? That's excellent. Me neither. Hey, why don't you and I have our lunch together outside for a change? Hmm? Wouldn't that be nice? Sure. I guess so. <sighs> yes! What's going on here? Well, the more the merrier, don't they say? Plus... Charles only just transferred to this school, so he doesn't really know his way around without me. Oh, maybe so, but... <laughs> um, Ichika, do you think it was really okay for me to join you here? Of course it was. We boys should stick together, especially since we'll be roommates from now on. Oh, I'm so touched. You know, you're really a sweet guy. Mm -hmm. Would you like to tell me why you're blushing? Blushing? I'm not blushing, am I? <laughs> wow. Sweet and sour pork. Yep. Made it this morning. You said you wanted to have some, right? <laughs> Each cup. It so happens that I also awakened bright and early this morning, and so I prepared this delightful basket of sandwiches for you. I just, um, wanted to let you know that we do have tasty food in England as well. Yeah, well, it sure does look good. Let me try this one. Good, yes? I do hope you like it. There's plenty more, so eat all you want. Oh, well, then, I'll have some more later, okay? Let's see, I have to try Hokies next. Well, this is what I brought. Oh, that looks so good. You spent so much time with this. Uh, I was already making some for myself. So I made some for you, too, but I only spent time on it because it was for me. I know, but it's still amazing. Thanks so much, Oki. Uh... <laughs> Hold on, stomach. Here comes the good stuff. <sighs> wow, so good. I bet you really put a lot of effort into making this. Oh, just some ginger, soy sauce, and grated garlic to season it. Oh, and I added a little pepper to it at the beginning as well. The secret ingredient is a little bit of grated daikon. Oh, this is seriously good. Aren't you going to eat any, Hokey? Uh, no, I already ate the ones that didn't come out as well. Hmm? Oh, it's what I meant by that is I'm fine, honestly. But I'm glad you like it. Please, enjoy the rest. Oh, you should have some, too. Come here. Open uh, wide. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Come on. Just one bite. Oh, okay, then. Just one bite. Oh. <laughs> it is good. I know. This bright 
chicken's really delicious. Oh, well, it's not fried chicken, but it is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I believe I know what is going on here. You must be doing the famous se-a ah thing that Japanese couples do, am I right? You guys must get along well. But why are they getting along so well? I find this completely outrageous. I demand a do-over. I have an idea. Why don't we all exchange one piece with each other? There's no problem if we all feed each other, no? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't mind. <sighs> well, I guess it's all right as long as Ichika doesn't mind. Normally, I wouldn't do anything that so goes against the fundamentals of proper table manners, but I suppose I should follow the old expression, when in Rome do as the Romans do. All right, eat my pork. Try my sweet and sour pork now, Ichika. Here, Ichika, you'll love my sandwich spread. <sighs> Two guys sharing a room is more like it, huh? This is very different from European tea. It's not what I'm used to, but it is still quite excellent. So I understand that you've been doing your IS training after school every day. Would that be correct? Yeah, but that's only because I'm way behind everybody else. So would you mind if I started training with you? I think I can be of help to you since I have my own machine. Sure, that would be great. Okay, then. It's a deal. Okay, class. I have yet another exciting announcement to make today. I'm about to introduce another new addition to our expanding classroom. Meet our newest transfer student from Germany, Laura Bartovic. Huh? What's going on? Two transfer students in only two days? No matter how you look at it, it's very strange. Please be quiet now, everyone. Her introduction isn't over yet, so show some respect. Yes, go ahead, Laura. Please finish. Jawohl, Mentor. Mentor? So that means when Shifuyu was in Germany, she was... I am Laura Borovic. So, um, is that all you wanted to say, Laura? Yes, that's all. And you must be. I do not approve. In fact, I will never approve that you're her brother. Got another transfer student. And she's the representative contender from Germany. It seems that she has an unusual connection with Oriamura. But why is she acting so hostile towards him? And what is her relationship with Lady Chifuyu? What really happened to them in the past? The story unfolds with so many mysteries. Check it out. And it looks like some kind of drama is going on with Charles as well. It's the next episode. My roommate is a blonde young nobleman. And the secret of the beautiful boy will finally be revealed. I'm about to introduce another new addition to our expanding classroom. It's nice to meet you, Ishtika. You may call me Charles if you like. You have to date me! I do not approve. In fact, I will never approve that you're her brother.
basically, the reason you cannot win is because you have very little understanding of the shooting weapon's characteristics. And since all I have to go on is theories, I'm screwed. That's right, the Byakushki doesn't have an equalizer, does it? Uh-uh. Something about there not being a vacant bus slot? It's only speculation, but I would think it is using the space for its one-off ability. The one-off what? The ability that naturally emerges when the IS and its pilot are in their best condition at the same time. For the Byakushki, your Reiraku Byakuya may be it. Uh-huh. Wow, you explain everything very simply, don't you? <laughs> then you don't even listen to any of my advice. And after I tried to teach you so kindly, too. And what was wrong with my very articulate explanations? The thing is, the Reiraku Byakuya is an insane attack that even consumes the unit's shield energy. It's the same ability that Miss Orimura's IS was using, Nespa. You are not supposed to be able to employ the same technique merely because the two of you are siblings. D'accord. Let's try it again, shall we? Hold on. I thought I couldn't use someone else's equipment. Normally, no. However, if the user unlocks it, anyone can use it as long as that person is a registered user. Oh. Um, am I using the right stance? Let's see. Keep your arms close to your side, and your left arm goes here. Easy, no? Yeah. Hey, doesn't it seem like those two are getting along just a little too well? Uh, 
Uh huh. The students in this academy do not deserve to be taught by someone of your stature. They lack a sense of danger and have mistaken the IS for some kind of extravagant fashion accessory. I find it unbelievable that you could even give the time of day to these people. I think I've heard more than enough, little girl. <gasps> You've grown up quite a bit since I last saw you. But not enough to assume you're the chosen one when you're only 15. <gasps> I was just... I'm a busy woman and you need to get back to your dorm, girl. <gasps> Male student over there, were you eavesdropping? Or indulging in some aberrant sexual behavior? How can you say that, Shifuyu? You're my sister, for cripe's sake! At school, you will call me Miss Morimura. Yes, ma'am. You don't have time to waste lurking in the bushes. You should be out there training. At the rate you're going, you're going to be defeated in the first round of next month's tournament. I know that. In that case, fine. Hey, wait a second. I wanted to ask you something about what Laura said to me in class earlier. She said she doesn't approve of me being your brother. Was she talking about the way you missed out on the chance to win the second championship because of me? That's all in the past, kid. There's no need for you to worry about it now. Later, okay? It was the second Mondo Grosso. The second IS World Championship. And on the day the final match was supposed to take place, someone kidnapped me. To this day, I still have no idea why they did it. But I was detained and imprisoned. And my big sister, Chifuyu, abandoned the final match in order to come and rescue me. So my sister lost the final match by default. No one had any doubt that she was about to win back-to-back -back victories, so it caused a controversy when she pulled out of the match. And to top it off, in order to repay the German army for helping find information about the location where I was being held, Chifuyu agreed to stay there and serve as an instructor for the German IS unit for over a year. I felt as though it was all my fault. Like I was good for nothing, and a totally pathetic excuse for a brother. Which is why I can't let my big sister watch over me anymore. I'm back. Are you here, Charles? Huh? <sighs> oh, that's right. Hey, Charles. I think we're out of body soap in there, right? I brought you a new... Some tea? Uh, sure, why not? Here. Uh, uh, thank you.
My family wanted me to do it. Your family? Oh, you mean your family's corporation. Oui. My papa is the company's CEO. And this whole plan was his direct order. What? To be perfectly honest, I am not the child of his wife. I was separated from him for a very long time. But two years ago, he took me in. That was right after my mama died. The people from the Dunois family came to pick me up. After various tests, they found out that I was exceptionally compatible with the IS. And though it was unofficial, they secretly made me a test pilot for the IS. But I have only seen my father twice before. And we have only spoken for no more than an hour. And then Donwa Corporation encountered some financial difficulties. Difficulties? And I thought that they ranked third in the world when it comes to manufacturing IS units. That is correct. But the Revive is a second-generation type. Currently, IS research is focusing on development of the third-generation type. I think the reason Miss Cecilia and Miss Laura transferred to this school was because they needed to collect data for that development. The Donois Corporation has already begun developing third-generation models, but progress has been slow. And at this rate, their development permit is in danger of being withdrawn. But what does any of that have to do with you coming here and pretending to be a boy? It's simple. I'm merely the advertising platform for attracting attention. As for this charade, it was felt I had a better chance of meeting you if I pretended to be a boy. The hope was that I could collect data on your machine as well as you. Basically, what they asked me to do was to come here and steal your data by pretending that I was a boy named Charles. <sighs> now I feel a huge burden has been lifted. Thank you for listening to me. And I am so very sorry about lying to you all this time. But you never wanted this, right? Huh? I mean this entire plot. There's no way that you did. Uh, Ichika? Our parents are important, and we wouldn't be here without them, but even so, a parent can't just use a kid as a tool like that. That's wrong in so many ways. Ichika. My sister and I were both abandoned as kids, so I know how you feel. <sighs> the difference is that I have no interest in ever seeing them again, but you do. So what are you going to do now? What am I? Now that you found out I am a girl, I am sure I will be called back to my home country. I don't really know about the rest. Sent to jail if I'm lucky. What if you just stay here? What? You'll be fine as long as I don't say anything, right? And even if they do find out, I'm sure your father or his company can't do anything about it at this point. It's right here in the IS Academy manual. All students of the IS Academy are under its exclusive control. And no nation, organization, or other group can interfere with their attendance here. In other words, you'll be safe for at least the next three years as long as you keep attending this school. And with that protection, you'll have time to engineer a more permanent solution. I can't believe you knew that. I mean, there are 55 of those to remember. Well, it might not seem like it, but I do study hard. <laughs> Ichika. Uh. Thank you for covering for me. Well, no problem. <laughs> uh, your breast. I can almost see your breast. Huh? Mm. Oh, uh, does it really bother you? Well, of course they do! Uh, would you like to see them? <laughs> Say what? You are a pervert. Me? Who the what? Where the hell did that come from? Over there. Uh, nothing. It's just that Charles told me he might be coming down with a cold, so I put a blanket on him. Uh, oui. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, I'm sorry to hear that. Would it be all right with you if I borrowed Ichika for a bit? <coughs> Go ahead. Well, it just so happens that I haven't had my dinner either. Would you care to dine with me? Uh, sure. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Let's be hey. off then. <laughs> What are you 
doing? We're on our way to dinner. Just the two of us together. But why do you have to have your arm through his arm and get so close to him to do that? Oh, don't you know that a gentleman is always expected to escort a lady? Actually, it feels more like I'm being escorted. Then I'm coming along with you two. I didn't have enough at dinner earlier, so I'm still hungry. Very well, but eating like that is sure to put even more weight on that boyish figure of yours. <laughs> well, that's none of your business, is it? We'll have some sword practice later. That's a good way to burn off calories. Oh, more with the hitting. Then it's settled. Let's be off, shall we? Miss Hokey, what do you think you're playing at here? You said a gentleman is expected to escort a lady, didn't you? Uh, hold on, you two. It's really hard to walk like this. Yeah! Does that mean you don't have anything else to say about this situation? Yes, such as how deliriously happy you are, you lucky dog. Hey, it's me. I think. Oh, welcome back. Is there something wrong? Don't you worry about it. I brought some food for you. Thank you. I am hungry. <gasps> What's wrong? Uh, well... Uh, uh, oh, you mm, can't use chopsticks. I have been practicing, but still... No problem. I'll just run back and get you a fork, okay? Huh? No, that is okay. You know, you're gonna have to learn how to take advantage of your roommate's kindness a little better. What is it they say about he who hesitates is lost? So, you take advantage of me this time, and I'll take advantage of you some other time, okay? Uh, well, all right, I... Mm -hmm. Couldn't you just feed me? Uh, uh... You said I could take advantage of your kindness, no? Okay, my word is my bond. Here comes the IS. Thou say all. Ah. Uh. So, do you like it? Oh, very. That's good to hear. More fish coming up. Well, I think I want to have some rice next. You want rice now? Here it comes. Get ready. <laughs> Hang her open. Say ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, you got some rice on your... Oh, uh... better get it. Okay, I guess I have no <laughs> choice. Mentor. Your absolute and incomparable strength is the goal I seek. It's the very reason for my continued existence. And the Ichika Orimura is the person who cast a stain upon my mentor's name. I swear that. I will get rid of you by any means necessary. Why? If 
if I win the tournament, you have to date me! How did that turn into this? The deal is, whoever wins first place in the tournament is gonna get to date Orimura. It's true, I swear! How could it become a rumor like that? <sighs> the winner of the tournament only gets to date Ichika if it's me. Anyway, it won't be a problem as long as I'm the winner. If I'm the winner, it'll be fine. This time is going to be different from back then. It'll be fine. It should be fine. I was in the fourth grade when it happened. The National Kendo Championship. Everyone said I was going to win it, but I wasn't able to attend the match, so I lost by default. And the reason I couldn't make it was my sister had announced the IS. Because it was so powerful and could be used for so many things, the government was afraid that it could be used as a weapon. So they put us into a protection program, moving my family from place to place in secret. Before I knew it, I was living separately from my parents. And I didn't even know where my sister was. And they kept interviewing me, I don't know how many times, while keeping me under constant surveillance. How could someone not be scarred by that, physically and mentally? But I never stopped my kendo training, because it was the only connection I still had with Ichika. And on that day, the way I was, swordsmanship is a mirror, one that reflects your true self. I was actually practicing kendo just so I could beat up my opponents and bend my feet. <gasps> it wasn't about strength or skill. It was raw violence and rage. That was not the true definition of strength. I'd let my dark side consume me. And now I have to wonder, can I win this time? And can I do it without betraying myself in the process? I have to. What's this? Up hmm? at the crack of dawn, I see. And here I was, thinking that I was going to be the first one to arrive. I'm here for a little extra training so I can beat losers like you in the tournament. What are you doing here? The same as you, actually, except I'll win. <laughs> you want to back up that fat mouth? As in, we just go ahead and see who's really the best right now. That's fine with me. Why don't we have a proper contest to sort this out? And then we'll find out who is stronger and more elegant. Agreed. Although it's obvious that I'm better than you on all accounts. <laughs> you know, I've always heard that a little dog's bark is much worse than its bite. And just what does that mean? Just pointing out how your pointless attempts to exaggerate your minimal abilities have failed. But that's to be expected. Is that so? Well, I could say the same thing about you!
So, Ichika, you're going to train today, aren't you? Yeah, there's not much time left before the tournament. Three representative contenders are having a practice match in the third arena! Huh? Finishing a third generation weapon is a joke. You don't seem to be moving. <laughs> you either. You're just another of the helpless masses. Now be gone! <laughs> oh, oh. It's not your dog! Damn you! Get on, ladies! <laughs> Please, Byakushki, let me use the ignition boost just one more time! So, are you 
guys okay? Uh, Ichika... I'm so sorry you had to witness any of that atrocity. No problem. I'm just glad both of you are conscious. If only I had my own IS. Instead, the only thing I can do is stand here and watch! Now, fool, I'll show you the real difference between the generations. Dealing with children is so damn tiring. Sis has still got it. You can practice all you want here. However, as a teacher, I can't ignore it when you start destroying the barriers in the arena itself. So this is over now. I'm ordering you to wait for the upcoming tournament to settle the score of your little match. Understood? If so, those are your orders, Mentor. <laughs> Orimura, Junwa. You're okay with that too, right? Uh, yeah, sure. You should say yes to your instructor, blockhead. Uh, yes, ma'am. That is an acceptable compromise. In that case, you are all hereby prohibited from engaging in any personal matches until the tournament. Dismissed! It wasn't necessary for you to help me back there. We would surely have won if we'd only been permitted to finish. In your dreams, maybe. Stop putting on a front, you two. Putting on a front? You are embarrassed because someone you like saw you when you were losing. That is correct, no? Huh? What? I promise I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Cross my heart! Uh, I'm confused as well. I mean, I'm not putting on any sort of front either. Hold on, how does that connect with you two starting that fight with Laura in the first place? <laughs> Did I do something? 
You know, at the nurse's office. You told him that we were pairing up for the tournament, remember? I was really happy when you did that. Oh, that? Yeah, I guessed it would be a problem if you paired with someone else and she found out that you were really a girl. Mm, you're so sweet, Ichika. Uh, oh, you think so? Uh-huh. You know, I don't think you have to keep talking like a guy when it's just the two of us alone together. I understand what you mean. However, the problem is I took so much intensive training on how to act and speak like a boy, and I've been doing it so long that now I find it's kind of hard to stop. Oh, I see. But if it is really bothering you, then I will try my best to talk more like a girl when the two of us are alone together. You don't have to force yourself like that. Besides, when you talk like a boy, I actually think it's kind of cute. Kind of cute? Do you really mean that? Mm-hmm. I said it, I meant it. <laughs> Maybe I will not try that hard then. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's time to get ready for bed now. Oh, sorry, I'll just step outside. No, wait. It's it's all right. I'm not fair to you. And I... I don't even really mind. Okay. The thing is, I actually do mind. But if we're supposed to be guys, the others might get suspicious if they see you waiting outside while I am changing. You have a point. Mm-hmm. Then how about we just face away from each other when we change? That sounds good to me. Right. Let's do this. more forceful than I expected, Ichika. If you would have just asked, I would have gladly... Uh, let's just go to bed, we... What if you just stay here? At that moment, I felt like I was actually wanted by someone for the very first time. here to watch the seniors, and the others are here to see how much the sophomores have learned after a year of training. Hmm. Well, I'd take my hat off to them. I wonder who Hokey decided to pair up with. They said they were going to assign partners by drawing if you didn't choose one yourself. I guess that the only thing you care about right now is the match against Miss Bodevig. Hmm? Uh, oh, yeah, I suppose so. Try not to get too emotional out there. In the entire freshman class, I believe she is by far the most powerful. Mm -hmm. She is, and the most psycho. Look, they're about to post the first matches. <gasps> <gasps> what in the hell are they trying to do? That's the worst matchup possible. Hey, they're both on 
Yes! Uh, 
Nein, not the shield, Piers! <laughs> But 
that would mean that Miss Vodovic's will is... Stay out of my way! No, stop it! What the hell is wrong with you? What's wrong is that she's using the same sort engaging technique as Jafuyu. That's my sister's. That technique is Jafuyu's alone. Listen, Yashka. You're supposed to swing the sword. As long as you let it swing you, that's not swordsmanship. It's heavy, right? That's the weight of a weapon that can end someone's life. <laughs> but what can you even do right now? Can you even fight when Byakushki has no energy left? No, you can't! Take a look. The situation is being handled without you doing anything. You're wrong about that. You're dead wrong. I don't want to fight, but I have to. Because... because this is about me, too. And just what is it you're going to do? Actually, sometimes the solution to no power is simply to borrow some. Now we're releasing revived core bypass. Energy transfer process authorized. First, promise me that you will not lose this fight. You've got a deal. I'm no man if I lose, right? Sure. However, if you lose, you will have to come to school wearing a girl's uniform. Huh? It's your thing. What are they doing? They're not... The instructors are ready. They'll handle it. The transfer is now complete. Thanks, I owe you one. Reactivating Byakushki in single pole mode. Oh, I guess it was only effective on the weapon and the right arm. Good enough. believing, Hoki. Hold on to that and have faith. You do that and I'll win. Rei Raku Byakuya, activate! Let's do this, you cheap imitation! Not strong at all. The reason you think I have strength is because my need to be strong makes me strong. That's what makes me that way. The fact that there's something I want, need to do. Something you want to do? Yes. I want to protect someone. And I need to use everything I have to fight to protect that person. But that sounds exactly like her. You're right. And I intend to protect you in the same way, Miss Laura Bodovic. Uh, but I am not... Mentor, what has happened to me? This matter is of utmost importance, and also highly classified. What do you know of the VT system? You're talking about the Valkyrie Trace system? Yes. Its research, development, and usage have all been completely prohibited by the International IS Treaty. However, it appears that your IS was, in fact, equipped with it. Moreover, it seems it was set to activate only under situations where there was extensive damage, 
And the pilot's mental condition was completely and totally focused on winning. You willed it to happen. It happened because I fished for it. Laura Budovic. Uh, yes, ma'am. Who are you? I am. If you're no one, then that's perfect. From now on, you are just Laura Budovic. Hmm? But remember, you will never be able to become me. <laughs> Canceling the tournament. Nevertheless, they still want to collect everyone's data, so we will get to fight one round each. Hmm. Huh? The chance to win it is gone now. To win a game? Ah! By the way, Hokey, about that promise from last month. I don't mind going out with you. You what? I said I don't mind going... Lily, <laughs> are you sure about that? Do you really, really mean it? Uh, well, yeah. Why? I mean, please explain your reasons to me. Well, you're my good childhood friend, so why shouldn't I go, right? Right. It's just shopping. <laughs> I knew you would say something like that. <laughs> Oh, Ichika, sometimes I really do wonder if you do things like that on purpose. Oh, you know, do you know what? I've got some wonderful news. I know you went through a lot earlier, but I thought you'd like to know that we finally managed to get both of you a wonderful place that will reward you. What place? That's right! It's a new men's bathhouse! Ah, how refreshing. Um, please excuse me. What the? Don't stare at me, you... You pervert, Ichika. I'm sorry. What do you think you're doing? Does it bother you that I'm in here? No, it's not like that, but... You know, I figured I should check out the bath, but if it bothers you that much, I can go and leave now. Uh, no, please, I'll, I'll leave instead. I've enjoyed the bath already. No, wait. <laughs> I need to tell you something. It's something important, so I want you to hear me out, okay? All right. Well, it's about what I told you before. Uh, you mean about you staying at the academy? Yes, that's right. I think I will stay here after all. Because you're here, Ichika. I think I want to be here, too. Oh, I see. Besides that, I decided one more thing about the way I should be. Uh, about the way you should be? From now on, would you please call me Charlotte? But only when we are by ourselves. Could you do that? Is that your real... Wait, that is my real name. The name that my maman gave me on the day that I was born. As you wish, Miss Charlotte. Bon. I'd like to introduce you to a new transfer student today. Huh? Hello, I am Charlotte Danois, and it is very nice to be meeting all of you once again. Uh, yes, it seems Mr. Genoa turned out to be a miss. We were kind of shocked, too. Uh, so you mean it was really a girl? I knew there was something fishy about it. He wasn't a beautiful boy, but a beautiful girl. Wait, Ori Moore has been sharing the same room without knowing anything about it. Wait, so that it? means... Didn't they open the large bag to the boy last night? Dead yet? Uh, Laura! You saved me! Thank you! I can uh, uh, Now, I have decided.
decided that I am going to make you my bride. That is final and I will not accept any objections from you. I plan on joining them. 
Nothing more? Don't you know that you should always spy on a new enemy before confronting them openly? That's quite correct. Surveillance is an art form. First, we must follow them closely. Then we can determine the exact nature of their relationship. Mm-hmm. I see. You have a point. Everyone at the Academy knows that you're a girl now. So it'd be normal for you to go by Charlotte. Maybe I should think of something else to call you, huh? Something that's just between you and me. Huh? Really? Hmm. How about Char? That's easy to say, and it sounds friendly, right? Char? Yeah, I think Char is wonderful. Oh, okay then. Wow, that kind of reaction must mean that she really does like it. All right. Shard? Shard? <laughs> that means I must be special to him, Nespa. <laughs> huh? What is it, Ichika? Sorry, would you mind going on ahead for a little while? I just remember there's something else that I need to buy. Something else to buy? Yeah, kind of. Oh. Oh. Hold on tight, bro. If you drop any of those, it's your head. No matter what you say, you're buying way too much. The last summer of middle school is special. Pull you swimsuit, beach you swimsuit, it's on swimsuit, ultra it's on swimsuit, mega ultra it's on swimsuit. You need each kind to use as the situation calls for. Oh, what kind of situations are those? Huh? <laughs> hey, buddy. Some shopping? Huh? Oh, yeah. That's quite a load you've got there. Are all those bags full of swimsuits? Yeah. The runt here said that she was going to show them all off to you. What was that? What was that? Um, so did you come to buy a swimsuit too? Yeah, our school's class beach trip is coming up soon. Oh, if only I'd known that before, you'd have been able to help me with shopping. What? Nothing at all. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. Next year, you're going to be my upperclassman. Isn't that great? You're applying to the IS Academy? Mm-hmm. My first choice. So I'll see you there, right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Study hard for your inches exam. Okay, I will. Thank you very much. Um, let's see now. Where did my brother get to? Uh, it's uh, 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 Wow, he really is useless as an older oh, brother. Where's it go? Huh? Wait, the sign says no shoes. <gasps> now, why'd you drag me in here? Because I want to know if the swimsuit I chose looks good. And for that, I had to come in here with you? Shh. Now, where could they have disappeared to? Surely they can't have noticed us following them. They can't. Oh, and here's this year's featured suit. It's called the These Ultimate are all Cleavage Suits. I never had any idea so many different types existed. It's so hard to choose, huh? isn't it? Yeah, if you wear one that doesn't suit you exactly, your man will turn on you like that. And even if everything else is perfect, if your swimsuit is bad, then that's the kiss of death for sure. If anyone spots us, they will get in the way. Uh, are you looking at someone out there? Huh? No, no, no one is there. But you just stay in here and I will get changed quickly. I made all this happen, but now what am I supposed to do? What's going on? What does Cheryl want to do? I don't get this. I don't get this at all. Uh, I'm doing it. Uh, she's really taking her clothes off. No, bad, Ichika. You must not imagine it. Think of something else. Uh, I know. Pie. Pie equals 3.14159265358. Just 
would be here at the shop? But you yeah, have it could get really sticky if we rushed things and now. Your hormones. Clarissa, I need your help. We have an emergency situation. Captain Laura Bodovic, are you experiencing a problem? Huh? Yeah. It's regarding that Ichika Orimura I mentioned to you before. Ah, Instructor Orimura's younger brother. This is the boy for whom you have affections? Yabol. He is the same one you kindly informed me I should refer to as my bride. It so happens that all the students from the IS Academy are about to take a trip to the beach. I am unclear as to what the basis for selection is when it comes to the correct swim attire. Therefore, I am requesting proper instruction. Yeah, of course. The Black Hair Corps is here to assist you in this matter. Incidentally, what are you currently equipped with? I have a single school issued swimsuit. <laughs> This is 
okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. That was quite catastrophic, Green. Huh? I shall escort you back to the guest house straight away. Huh? No, wait! Maybe each can can Excuse me, Tukotsky. Would you be willing to lend a hand here? Sure, I'm happy to help. <laughs> She probably is all right. Ichika, so this is where you've been. <gasps> so, uh, what's the deal with that beach, Mommy? Come on now. You can let Ichika see your suit. It will be all right. Mine? I will decide whether or not it is all right. <gasps> Wait a sec. Is that Laura's voice? But Laura, you have already changed. So now you have to show him your new bathing suit. No, wait. I am still not ready. First, I must prepare myself for this. Oh. In that case, Ichika and I will go out to the shore alone. Are you okay with that? No! That is forbidden! If you wish to laugh, then go ahead. It looks perfectly fine, don't you think, Ichika? Yeah, you look cute. Uh, oh, you think I am cute? That is the first time I have been caught that. I thank you very much for your input, and it is greatly appreciated. I'm Yara! You promised. Now let's play some beach volleyball. Yeah, it's a battle against Oribu. Step back, two! Here, catch! And even three against three. All right, let's do it. So this is where you've been hiding. 
The ocean's not going anywhere, so can you give me your attention? Yes, Miss Oriwara. You've seemed distracted for a while now. Do you want to talk about it? Well, let's... Is it about Tabane? I contacted her the other day. It seems that she had nothing to do with what happened to Laura's VT system. I see. Tomorrow is July 7th. You're expecting that something might show up, aren't you? Of course, I have one ready. It's over spec with high end capabilities. It'll stand toe to toe with the Byaku. Mm hmm. This IS unit is known as a Katsubaki. something like that. <sighs> Are you feeling all right? If you can't kneel for a long time, maybe you should move to a table instead. I'm uh, quite all right. And compared to the effort it took me to secure this place at the table, this is nothing. Uh, this place? Oh, there was nothing at all, honestly. <laughs> uh, there are many different types of girls, you know. Oh, is that... So, oh. yes, it is so. Oh, man, check out the face on Hoki. I wonder what she could be looking so upset about. <laughs> hey, Cecilia, if it's really that uncomfortable, do you want me to feed you? I've done it for Charlotte. Uh, Ichika, do you really mean it? Hmm? Do you really mean that you would actually be willing to feed me? Honestly? Oh, this beautiful food go to waste now, wouldn't it? Okay, sashimi first. Oh, right, but not too much wasabi, if you please. Right. All right, here. Uh... Yeah, and she pulls it off well, too. Oh, la la, Cecilia is so naughty! 
beastly. <sighs> but I finally get to see Ichika, so it's all worth it. Huh? What is going on here? Shh. Hmm? Are you nervous, Jafuyu? I know it's been a long time. Well, of course. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Hey. Mm. Don't do it quite so hard. Okay, fine. What about here? Oh, that is... <clears throat> oh, no. Not there. It'll feel good soon. Looks like this has been building up. Oh, oh my goodness. What in heaven's name is going on in there? No, it's not in there. <sighs> <laughs> okay, idiots. Just what was so interesting about my getting a massage? Mm -hmm. Oh, you were giving your sister a massage. Yes, that's not what we thought at all. What did you think we were doing? Well, naturally. <laughs> Yes, we weren't thinking at all. <laughs> he may not look like a masseur, but he has amazing fingers. Come to think of it, maybe you should all let him do you. Huh? Okay, I'll do Cecilia first. Oh, I'm going first? Yes, that's why I asked you here, so come lie down. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll be gentle. Let's see. It doesn't hurt when I do this, does it? No, not at all. Feels quite wonderful. I mean, it feels so good that I find myself becoming rather sleepy, in fact. I even... Ah! Ah! Oh my, how precocious. Ah! But these are really too mature for you. Nice shade of black, though. Please, ma'am, I really do wish you would put that down now. What, didn't expect your lewd 15-year-old desires to be expressed to your teacher? <laughs> Oh, I'm just joking, dear. Hey, Ichika, why don't you go and buy us some drinks? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Okay, girls. What's with the dead fish expressions? Um, the thing is, we, uh... You see, ma'am, this is the first time we have ever spoken to you in this way. Okay. We're finally getting down to the nitty-gritty, huh? <sighs> so, what do you girls even see in him? <gasps> I mean, my brother has his uses, to be sure. For example, he's good at cooking, housekeeping, and he gives fantastic massages, so any girl who gets him would be lucky. That said, he comes at a price. He's, he's for sale? sale? No, you fools. Oh. Uh -huh. Listen, if you're a real woman, you've got to be willing to do whatever it takes to nuke your rivals. Get with the program, kiddos, okay? Mm. Hokey? Okay, please, Paul, do you think that this means... Sometimes it's just better not to know. Hey, wait, should we just leave it lying there like that? What are you doing over here, Ichika? Something I might regret. <laughs> oh! Oh! Uh, oh. Huh? Huh? I knew it! Mm-hmm. Long time no see. Ha! A really long time. So each go. Where did little Hopi go? Uh, actually, she's... Uh... That's okay. I'll find her soon enough just by using this hokey tracking device I invented. Okay, Ikun. I'll see you later. It? Yeah, I guess. Try using the sword. The Amaski is the one on the right, and the Karawari is on the left. I'll go ahead and send you some data on the weapon specifications.
double-A priority mission, and apparently it seems the countermeasures have already been activated. This test is suspended for now. I'm afraid there's something I'll be needing all of you for. <sighs> Hang on. Who's that strangely dressed woman? That's Tabane Shinonono. <laughs> Two hours ago, the Silvario Gospel, a third-generation IS nicknamed The Gospel, jointly developed by America and Israel, went rogue. Reports indicate that the unit began running wild during test maneuvers that were being carried out in the seas near Hawaii, where it has now come that it's disappeared from the area where it was originally observed. What's important is that according to our information, it was an unmanned unit. Again? As you can see, satellite tracking now indicates that the Gospel will be passing through our airspace just two kilometers from our present coordinates. That will occur 50 minutes from now. The orders that we've just received from the Academy's Board of Directors have made us responsible for handling this situation. As we speak, our instructors are taking the training units and locking down all of the air and sea perimeters. The rest of the action will be handled by the students who have personal units. Say what? In other words, we are the ones who stop that out-of-control IS. Wait, us! Must everything surprise you? Before we begin the official mission brief, this is the time for any questions you may have. Ma'am, I would like to have the full specs and data on the target IS. Yes, that's a reasonable request. However, if any of this information is leaked, you'll be tried in a court of inquiry and placed under house arrest for a minimum of two years. Got it? Understood, Instructor. This is a special artillery type designed for widespread target annihilation. Unlike my own IS, it seems that the Gospel is capable of all ranges of attack. All ranges of attack plus maneuverability too? That'll be tricky. This specialized weaponry looks rather suspicious, Nespa. I think that continuous defense will be quite difficult. This data leaves its hand-to-hand -hand capabilities unknown. Can we do some preliminary recon? No, that won't be possible. The problem is that the target is currently moving across the ocean at supersonic speeds, so we'll only have one chance to intercept it. But if they're just gonna have one chance at it, then that means only a unit that has single shot kill capabilities will have any chance of hitting it. Mm -hmm. uh, what? We'll get this thing with your Raku Byakuya. It's the only thing that could possibly do it. But the problem will be... The problem is how to get Ichika to the coordinates. Success will be difficult unless he conserves all his energy to use in the attack. So how will we get in there? That's difficult. He doesn't have an IS with enough speed to catch up to the target. And he will also need an ultra-sensitive hypersensor. Hey, now hold on just a minute. So I'm the one who's going? Well, well of, of course. course! Will you stop speaking in unison like that? Look, Orimura, this isn't a training exercise. This is real combat. If you don't think you're up for it yet, no one here is going to force you to go. Oh, I'll go. And I'll show you that I can do it. All right, that's settled. So at the present time, the personal IS unit that's able to go the fastest Hold is... it! Hold it! <laughs> Just put this operation on hold for a minute, okay? Uh, yeah. back again! Where's your printer? Will you leave? Uh, just listen, Kay. First off, it's definitely the Akatsubagi's turn to shine! What? Incident, huh? I... The Shirukishi incident. 
That was ten years ago. Just one month after Tabane unveiled the IS, 2,341 missiles around the world were launched at once. All of those missiles onboard guidance systems were hacked simultaneously, and they all headed straight toward Japan. And then a single girl piloting a silvery IS appeared out of nowhere. That IS, which would come to be known as the Shirokishi, single-handedly shot down all the missiles. And as the sun set, it simply disappeared, as if it had only been an illusion. <laughs> and who was inside that Shirokishi? Huh, Chi-chan? I have no idea. Well, I'll bet it was someone who has a 35-inch bus line. <laughs> Chan, you split poor Miss Tabany's brain right in two. Well, isn't that nice? Now the left half of your brain will be able to take turns thinking with the right half. Oh, good one! Yay! <laughs> You're so smart, <laughs> Chan. <Chichan. laughs> Let's get back on topic. Okay, super genius. How long until adjustments to the Akatsubaki are finished? Miss Aremora. Yeah, what? Ma'am, I'm sure that I could achieve the objective in my blue tears. As you know, the gunner strike, my high maneuverability package, is on its way here now. And does that package operate on molecular exchange? Well, um, no, not yet. By the by, I can finish adjusting the Akatsubagi in seven minutes, no problem. Fine, that's it. The mission brief is Orimura and Shinonuno will engage the gospel. She drives, he shoots. Let's blow that thing away, people. We launch in 30 minutes, ready or not. So, don't just stand there. Get your asses moving! Well, this has a nice feeling to it. Uh, no! You've got it all wrong. Aw, oh, now don't make such a frowny face, baby sister. Your face will freeze like that. Ooh. This is the face I was born with. Oh, yes, that's right. Anyway, let's hurry up and finish those adjustments to the Akatsuma. got to make this work. I'm the only one who can do it. Who can execute a one-shot kill. my own personal IS. At last, you're finally mine. Practice match. 
so we need to be really extra careful about You're not about telling how... me anything I don't know. But don't worry, okay? You can always trust me to get you where you're going. So just rest easy and let me do the driving. You seem to be really getting into this. Did a new attitude come with the personal unit? Huh? Oh, I'm just the same as always. But you know. You need to remember to stay calm out there. I know that. Orimura. No, no, no. Do you read me? Yes, ma'am. We read you, loud and clear. The success of this whole mission is dependent on a one-shot kill. So get in there and finish it off as quickly as you can. Your target, the Rogue IS unit, will be referred to simply as the Gospel. Is that clear? Yes, Understood. Um, Miss Orimura, should I continue to provide Ichigo with tactical support as the situation calls for it? If it calls for it, yes. But don't push yourself too hard. Remember, you have no battle experience in the Akatsubaki. It's a prototype unit, and an unforeseen problem could suddenly arise. Understood, ma'am. But I'll do what I can, to the best of my ability. <sighs> Does Hoki sound a little strange? Yes, she sounded that way to me, too. I can understand, but... Open a private channel to Orimura. Right. Ichika. Uh, yes? The reason I'm using a private channel is so that Shinodono can't overhear our conversation. So play dumb. I think she's getting a little carried away. She's overly excited, and in that frame of mind, she could make a fatal mistake. Should anything happen, lend her your support. I'll keep that in mind. You can count on me, ma'am. Very well. <sighs> Switch into an open channel. Standing by. Commence the operation! Ready? Always. Where is all this speed coming from? The Akatsubaki is amazing! Astonishing speed. Establishing temporary satellite link. Information collation complete. The target's current location has been confirmed. Ichika, are you ready to go in? Yeah, ready. Yeah, that's the Savario Gospel, all right. I'm increasing speed. Just ten seconds till we make contact with the target.
that. That's not the Hokie I know. Don't you remember? With great power comes great responsibility. That makes protecting people like them our job. You can't turn a blind eye towards them. That's... really not like you at all. But I was just... It looks like it's stopped now. Do you suppose Headquarters will still want us to continue the operation, ma'am? Until we receive the order to stand down, we have no choice. But how? And with what means, ma'am? Excuse me? Who is it? It's the Loire. You're on standby. You're not allowed to enter. We have to obey the orders of our superior. But I am certain that she is as worried about Ichika as we are. She is his sister, no? And he still hasn't regained consciousness yet. She did order Ichika's treatment, but she still hasn't gone over to check up on him. Well, Miss Orimora hasn't gone to speak with Hoki yet either. I understand that the mission was a failure, but isn't that being rather insensitive towards her? Right now, she is concentrating on tracking the gospel. The instructor is simply doing what she knows must be done. <clears throat> However, it must be difficult for her too. That's the reason she has locked herself into the operation center. She is worried about him. But would visiting each could do anything to help destroy the gospel? <laughs> A much more pressing problem is... to the situation, I will convene a meeting. And until I do, consider yourselves all on standby! Is that your strength? 
It is, isn't it? That's what makes you so different. Compared to you, Cliff. All this time I've talked of strength. But have I just been using that to vent my inner rage? In your eyes, that poaching vessel and I deserve to be protected equally. But I... <laughs> Shinona, no. You really ought to get some rest as well, you know? It won't help anything if you push yourself too hard and get sick because... Everyone will worry about you. But I want to be here. That won't do. Please go get some rest now. That was a direct order from Miss Orimura. Understood? Miss Shinona, no. Understood. with you today, huh? <laughs> Shut up, you guys! You loudmouths need to quit goofing off. Help out or go home, okay? What's the deal, Orimura? You mean you like this top boy? Yeah, don't you know? They're like married. I know. Hey, I'll bet you guys have been all lovey-dovey <laughs> with each other since this morning, haven't you, Orimura? <laughs> That's right. The other day she had a friggin' ribbon on. How dumb a tomboy wearing a ribbon! What a laugh! Ah! You're an idiot, aren't you? Huh? Why would you say that? Don't you understand that doing something like that will cause you problems later on? I don't think about it. I just smack down bad guys. Oh. Look, don't worry about those losers. That ribbon you were wearing looked good on you. I think you should wear it again. Well, forget it! I'm not ever taking any orders from anyone. Well, I'd better be going. See you, Shinonono. Hey, wait! Huh? Just so you know, my name's Hokey. Remember that! Because here at this dojo, my mom, dad, and my sister are all Shinona now, and it's confusing. So just call me by my first name, if you want it. Okay. Uchika. Uh, what? Oh, that's my name. There's another Orimura, too. So you just call me Ichika, all right? <laughs> Thinking, isn't it? So, 
Enjoying your little self-pity party for one? Well, too bad, because it's over. Now listen here. You've got a job to do, and we need you. So stop sulking and get back to work. I'm finished as a pilot. I quit. <laughs> Don't hold back! 
this remind me of something I've seen before? Comrades, that's what I want. For your comrades? Yes. It's like there's so much in this world that you have to fight against. Do you understand what I'm saying? This world is consumed with irrational violence. I want to fight it and to aid my comrades in that battle as much as I can. That's what I need the power for, to help them. Yes. I see. It's your fate. You have to go. Do you understand?
I miss you, Ichika. I miss you. I miss you. Sorry about the wait. Ichika! Your wounds! Are you... Uh, I'm okay. I can fight, too. Everyone tried to stop me, though. I'm... I'm so glad that you're all right. Hang on. Are you crying? Uh, no! Of course I'm not crying. Well, just in case. Here. Huh? To be honest, I like your normal hairdo better than this. But, um, happy birthday, by the way. <sighs> Today is July 7th, isn't it? I'll be back. Just have faith. shut it off themselves. Miss Norimura! Ma'am! Ma'am! Just stay out! We're busy in here! We understand that, ma'am! But Orimura is... Oh, 
Is it over? Yeah, it finally is. Mission accomplished. Well, that's what I'd like to say. But the fact is that you have committed a very grave offense here. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma when you get home, I want you to all write an essay on what you did wrong. And in the meantime, I'll be preparing some especially grueling training for you as punishment. Uh, excuse me, Miss Orimura, but shouldn't we call it a day now? I'm sure everyone is very tired. <sighs> but in spite of all the screw-ups, you did a good job. <sighs> and... I'm glad you all made it back all right. <sighs> uh, so, um, take the rest of the day off. I'm like, hey, I just what happened out there. What really made the gospel run wild? Is it true there was no one inside it? Weren't you afraid when you were fighting? Wasn't it scary? Come on, you guys. Tell us. The teachers aren't saying anything to anybody. So sorry. The officials labeled the whole thing top secret. No kidding. Even we haven't been told all the particulars yet. I understand. You're curious about the situation, but if you knew more, they would place restrictions on you as well. Okay? Uh, no. I don't think I'd like that. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be spied on or anything. Hold on. Just where have each kind hokey wandered off to? Huh? sure is surprising, isn't it? It even has the capability of being able to revive its pilot. Just like... Just like the Shiro Kishi? Core number 001, which you poured your blood, sweat, and tears into? The original IS unit? What's up, Ji-Jan? I'd like to speak hypothetically. Let's say that a certain genius could have an IS planted at a certain location on the day of a certain boy's high school entrance exam. The genius makes sure that's the only time this IS ever moves. That way, it would look like a boy who can't operate an IS actually made it move. Hmm. Then that would have been the only time it moved, wouldn't it? <laughs> but to be honest with you, even I don't know exactly why the Byakushki moves. It's really a mystery. All right, then. Let's talk about something different. A certain genius decides she wants to debut her precious younger sister with a big bang. So for her sister, she prepares her own personal unit. Other IS that may just run amok. And then, when an incident occurs, she drops her sister's new state-of-the-art unit into the mix. Quite a debut for little sis, don't you think? That really would be a super genius, huh? Mm-hmm. A true super genius. A super genius who's already managed to hack into the military computers of at least 20 countries. Say, Chi chan I wonder, does the world seem like a fun place to you? Fun? More or less, I suppose. I agree. swim too? Uh, that and I wanted to clear my head a bit. So, um, I guess you had the same idea. Uh, uh, I really wish you wouldn't stare. Oh, I'm sorry. So, um, I was wondering. Uh, yeah? Is your hair okay? It got kind of burned back there, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's no big deal. It'll grow back. And as for the ribbon, well, I got a new one. <laughs> I'm really glad it'll be fine then. And that everyone got back okay. Even my injuries were nothing major in the end. 
but are you really okay? I mean, I didn't think you'd be able to recover from something like that so easily. Well, it wasn't nearly as bad as it looked. So there's no need for you to worry about it anymore, okay? But I do! <laughs> I do! It's my fault that you were injured in the first place! If you'd have made just one wrong move, you might have been killed! So you're wrong! Don't forgive me like it's not a big deal. Okay, if you feel like that, how about some punishment? Punishment? <laughs> yes, punishment. Now close your eyes. <sighs> That's fine. I deserve it. <gasps> okay, all done. <laughs> Are you making fun of me? Hey, calm down. Don't get so excited. Don't get excited. How can a warrior be calm when our pride has just been sullied? Okay, they're touching me. <gasps> okay. Now they're not. But, um, can I ask you how they compare? What? Look, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm asking if you've noticed me as someone of the opposite sex. Uh, I suppose. Is that so? 